Welcome to Innova World. Hey guys, once again welcome back to my channel. Today I will solve few MCQ questions on propulsion. First question, if theta is a semi divergence angle of a straight converging and diverging nozzle then the divergent loss factor is four options let's see the explanation since some certain performance loss occur in a conical nozzle as a result of non-axial component of an exhaust gas velocity a correction factor is applied in a calculation of exit gas moment now this factor or it can also call as a thrust efficiency is the ratio between the exit gas moment of a conical nozzle and that of an ideal nozzle with an uniform parallel and axial flow gas. So this can be expressed by the terms lambda equals to 1 plus cos theta by 2. So our right option from this option is option A. Next comes the characteristic chamber length L star of the combustion chamber of a liquid rocket engine is defined as VC is the chamber volume and AT is a nozzle throat area. We have another fourth of options. Recalling the definition characteristic length that is L star is can be written as the VC by AT. So from our options we can write our right answer is option B. Next comes if AP is an initial port cross sectional area and AT is a nozzle throat area of a solid propellant rocket then the following criteria is to be satisfied. We have following four conditions. Recalling the conditions, this is true if the port area is AP or we can also say the flow area of a gas between and around the propellant cream is relatively larger compared to the nozzle throat area AD. That means from here we can say AP by AT will be larger value. And this effect of corrosive burn can be minimized by designing the motor with a sufficiently large port to throat area that is it is advisable to have ap by at so from the given uh, from the given options we can choose that our right option is option a next comes Characteristic velocity of a rocket engine is equals to four options equal to discharge coefficient, square root of discharge coefficient, inverse of discharge coefficient and the last option is thrust of the rocket divided by initial mass of rocket. Now recalling the definition of characteristic velocity that is C star is measure of a combustion performance of a rocket engine it is independent of nozzle performance and it is also used to compare the different propellants and propulsive system and the formula can be written as C star equals to P naught AT by M dot so from here we can see that the coefficient that is a flow discharge is inversely proportional though recalling the next session of thrust coefficient can be implemented at thrust by p naught by t at so combining this characteristic velocity and the thrust coefficient we can find that force by m dot so from here we can come to a conclusion that that is uh, the characteristic velocity of a rocket engine is equal to inverse of discharge coefficient so our right option is option c
If you have further inquiry, drop down to my mail to 9489224114 ash at gmail.com and subscribe to my channel for more updates and don't forget to share this video with your needy fellows. Stay blessed. Take care.